Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nandi. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about green flags in a relationship. Now, I know that, you know, I be doing red flags. I did a video on red flags. I did a video on like, whether you're dating somebody toxic and really decided to be nice today and really give you all some green flags that you should be aware of. So if you are interested in this topic, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna try to not go off on too many tangents and try to keep this really short and sweet and to the point. Let's get in, let's get out. Like, let's really finish this. Okay, see, I'm taking, I'm wasting time. All right, the first green flag is a big picture thinker. So when you think of um, like a <laughs> relationship, right? Obviously when, okay, let me speak personally. So when I get into relationships, I, you know what I'm saying? I like to coast, I like to take my time. I like to really fill it out. Um, but what I love about another person is that if they are like big picture thinkers, they're like, you know, we this and we that and, you know, down the road, like it's just, they just speak, it's like speaking you into existence, basically, like speaking the relationship into existence, they're like really capitalizing on the future of you all. Um, that is like what a big picture thinker is like he is he or she they are fitting you into their world like into their big picture you know I really hope y'all got that <laughs> okay the next green flag is that they listen to understand and honestly this sounds like so easy but it really is not and I have done a video before on active listening but really you can listen, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of the time people aren't listening to actually understand you or to see where you're coming from. They are listening to combat you or to have an opposing view. And I think that this is more so um, evident when you are in a fight with someone whether, and honestly, it's like whether it's relationship based or not, like when you are in a fight with someone you want to make sure that they are listening to understand where you're coming from. Like not to just discredit what she said or like take it out of context or blowing you off just to get, just to get off what they want to say really quick, you know? Okay. That's the aesthetic I'm going for. The next green flag is that they tell you the truth, but in a gentle way. So I think I do this a lot with like family and friends, like people who I'm close to, like, I, I tell them the truth, but I'm very gentle with it. Like I'm really soft spoken when I want to get, when I want to say something mean, I, you know, sometimes I, I put a little, you know, softness to my voice. So it's kind of like that. Like they tell you the truth, but they're really gentle with it. They're not accusatory with it. They don't want to make you feel any type of way. It's just very gentle. It's very soothing. It's giving care the next green flag is when they can admit when they are wrong baby we love a self-aware king we love a self-aware queen we love accountability and when you can admit that you are wrong because we are not all right all the time honey i stand i do and i don't especially when i don't even have to tell you that you are wrong like i know it don't sound right but you know it don't sound right too. and i just i love that for us you know what i'm saying i love the clear communicate that like it's giving it is and speaking of the clear communication when they communicate openly and this is something that i've always been working on this is something that i will continue to work on but open communication, it really just changes the game in a relationship when you feel comfortable enough with your partner to actually express what issues you have. It's honestly a game changer. And I think that this is the first relationship of mine that I am actually able to really openly say what I feel and like not feel 
timid or not feel really hesitant about that person's reaction because I think a lot of times I am so hesitant to speak up um, or hesitant to even just say stuff sometimes because some people are just firecrackers. You never know how they're going to react. So you don't want it to be like a... Sometimes when you like say stuff to people, it can be like a chore kind of. like They can just drag the issue on and on and on and there's like no resolve. So it's like you don't even want to openly communicate because y'all are going to be talking about that shit for the rest of the day. And I'm, I'm here to just like say it, get it on the table and get it like deal with it, get it done with. You know what I'm saying? So being able to openly communicate is honestly a game changer. That is a definite green flag of mine. Okay. The next green flag is that the words and their behaviors align and it's like a beautiful marriage. It's like, it's like, it's like a breath of fresh air. Like when you meet someone who says what they're going to do, but they also just does what they're going to do. And like, they don't even have to say it all the time. Like, that's just who they like. It's that's just who they are. I mean, it's honestly a breath of fresh air. The next green flag is that they set honor and respect boundaries. Now, you do not want someone who does not respect your boundaries but at the same time you need someone who's so firm in themselves and so secure in themselves to be able to set their own boundaries and be sure that you also respect that and boundaries are important in any relationship any relationship that you can have everyone needs boundaries everyone needs their personal space everyone just needs their privacy sometimes you know so Having that, having someone to set honor and respect boundaries is huge. They are intentional about conflict resolution. Again, this goes back to me, you know, being hesitant sometimes about wanting to communicate openly or like say certain things. I have to have someone who is intentional about conflict resolution because I am not the type of person that will sit here and talk to you about a problem all day i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna do it like even if we are not even even if we don't get to the same page or even if we don't resolve it like if we just have an argument about it and then we just leave it like i'm cool with that as long as we're not arguing about that shit tomorrow i like a week from today i don't care how we end it as long as it's done so someone who is intentional about conflict resolution, I want that problem solved. I want these issues ironed out. I really need this out of my face because I'm tired of talking about it. And that's the thing too. I get tired of talking about stuff real quick. So I just really want you to like say what you got to say. Have me say what I have to say. If we could reach a resolution, great. If we can't, then let's just table it. Like, I don't want to keep talking about okay, it. Okay, the next green flag is they make you feel seen, heard, and appreciated. And this is, I feel like this is something that everyone wants in a relationship, men and women alike. You, you always just want to feel seen, heard, and appreciated. Like, I feel like we do so much stuff for the people that we love and it literally doesn't even matter whether it's a romantic relationship, a friendship, or like your family. I just think that we do so much for the people that we love and every now and again, it's like always nice to be appreciated. And this is like, even for your job or like whatever, we as, I mean, I, I feel like us as humans just really like to be appreciated for things that we do. So. Definitely a green flag in my life. Okay, the next green flag for me is that they compromise when necessary. And I think that I am a good compromiser. I feel like my friends will say I am a good compromiser. I really, I really strive to compromise. And for me, I do so just out of respect of that other person. Like sometimes stuff is just not a big deal to not bend the knee on unless I am just so pressed about things being a particular way I will usually compromise but it is nice to have a partner who is also willing to just compromise on the things that they want sometimes 
and not letting you always be the one that are making sacrifices or making compromises for the relationship. Yeah. Final green flag is that they give you space. And if you know me, you know that I love my space. I love my personal time. I love being up under people and I love cuddling and I love, you know, sharing space with other people. But I also love being able to recharge. Just being able to recharge and just have some time to myself. I think we can all benefit from time to ourselves, And I think it kind of gets a little hard when certain schedules don't align or if you can only see people during certain times, it's kind of hard to have a little bit of personal space, especially in a relationship, especially if you all live together. Those are all the green flags that I have for you. Now, like I said, you know, I be riding, I be riding a man hate train sometimes. Not even because I honestly, all of the, all of the things that I talk about are things that men and women alike do. I am never bashing a specific gender, right? Some, no, I don't, I don't bash men specifically. Men, yeah, I mean, it ain't, it, y'all make it a little easy, but I am not specifically here to bash men. Okay. I'm talking to women. I'm talking to men. I'm talking to everybody. So these are the green flags that I have in a relationship. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.